Hey YouTubers, um, today I'm going to get back into working on my 1975 Skidoo Olympic. I haven't touched it for quite a while, so today we're, well me, I'm working on putting the, the brake back together. Not a difficult thing, but there's a lot of parts. Uh, and it's amazing when you pull it all apart uh, and you put it and spread it out. It's like, holy crap, how does that all go back together? Yes, there's manuals, etc. But they're really not that clear on how everything goes back together. Uh, I certainly appreciate watching all the other videos. So I thought I'd just do a video showing you all the pieces and parts. So let's dig into it. Okay, so here's all the parts and the pieces. The important thing new brake pads. It is a, it is a disc a caliper with a, with a disc, so they're disc brakes, but it's not hydraulic, it's cable operated. Basically there's a little lever that pulls with the cable and does it. Okay, so let's start with this piece, the main, what we would call the caliper. Um, start with the small, or larger hexagonal, but it's a short one goes right in inside sticking out there's a metal plate looks kind of silvery like a spring metal then there's a little round uh, notice there is two of them okay it's the smaller of the two well there's a very large flat washer and finally put the nut on there Step one. Okay. Step two. Put in one of the discs, one of the pads rather. The big spring. This is the self-adjusting nut. It'll go click, click, click. Every time you, you tighten the brakes, it'll tighten it up a little bit. So it is a self-adjusting brake. So that's just going to screw on there. And as you and as you use it, um, it's going to it's going to click outwards. So as it goes outwards in this direction, it's in fact going to be pushing the pad inwards because as the pad starts to wear. So for now, let's just crank it up. And right now, it's actually better if we can get that fairly tight because we have to put the actuator up top here. Okay. Then the other pad we can put it in. Notice the pad has a little step portion here that goes downwards or in first. Okay, then that other little ring and a washer, other flat washer, very similar to, to the this flat washer, but it's 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 a little smaller and quite a bit fatter than this one. And then the plastic nut on there. Okay. Next, we need the actuating lever. So the actuating lever is gonna fit in this way. There's a little bump here. That bump, as it actuates down, is going to push on here. Move that. I've got it cranked in tight, so it's not gonna move very much at the, minute, at the moment. Okay, there's a little spring clip here. This is the little, basically the actuating for the self-adjusting. And you notice there's a hole in this side and two holes here. So this piece is going to, the little tang on it is going, a little step tang, This not this actuating, but the step tang is going to fit in here and like that. We're going to drop that in here. And it all falls apart. Let's try that again. Yeah, we have to kind of play it with it a little bit. Because you've got to get it through the spring. I found. Ah, 
Oh, there we go. I got it. You might have to push down a little bit depending on how much you've cranked that. Find that other hole. There we go. Okay. Then the little springs. Spring clips, of course, two of them. One on either end. I haven't addressed any issue of uh, lubricating this at all. Basically, I'm just showing you how it goes together. We'll consider the lubricating afterwards. Okay. So now you can see how that works. Make sure that spring, which I didn't have it, isn't up on top of the thing. It has to be to the side of this. Okay, and as you do it, click, click. You hear it click, and this will slowly drive this out. Okay. The, the wire, the signal, um, the brake switch, rather, is all mounted. I already mounted it on here. Regular bolt, little lock washer between the two of them to stop it from moving. And then reach inside there. I'll tighten up later, just for now to get you all put together. And then finally, the bracket. Should we get it right? So that's where this whole mechanism fits, drops in there. And that, and then you'll tighten that up on there. That'll hold that on there. And the only other thing is you've got two screws or bolts. So there you go, all the pieces and parts I'll put back together. Just needs to be tightened up and I'll check on the lubrication of it. Ready to go back on the uh, skidoo. Okay, so here's the brake assembly. Uh, reinstalled on the chain case. Okay, just a couple of notes. The inner, or the fixed shoe, I guess you'd call it, not the uh, not the activating shoe, um, the one with that nylon nut. Don't tighten it jam tight. Leave it just. I left it just a little loose so that that shoe can float a little bit. Okay, so I think that's the right spot for there. The little spring. This is a new cable, and it comes with uh, the spring on the end with the little washer, little chrome washers. This chrome washer, there's not enough room on the inside for that chrome washer. So you'll see that I actually had to take, um, just ignore the nut on the end. I had to take the end of that and just take my side grinder and, uh, and just nibble a little bit of that so that that will sit nice and flush inside there. Okay, okay so I found the best way to uh, get it all adjusted was um, install the cable, your brake cable, into the handle here first. Then run it down in here. Put your clip on. Slide the bottom uh, spring retainer on. And then the spring. And then I use a pair of needle nose to grab the uh, shaft of the cable uh, holding the spring down. Then I was able to put on the other retainer cap and then finally push the, um, the end of the cable, the, the threaded part of the cable out, put the nut on, a couple of uh, turns, um, and then let go of the, uh, of the vice grips and, uh, and that worked great. Okay. So you can see that we have a bit of a slop this bolt will be tightened 
up to torque. I said about 15 foot, 14, 15 foot, foot pounds. Um, uh, but with that um, sleeve on there, it, it, it allows it to float back and forth. So there's lots of room for that to float. And we'll just uh, crank on the brake. And every time we do it, we're hearing the click as it adjusts. So that left hand pad is getting uh, closer and closer to the fixed pad. And there you go. Okay, so now we're at the point. Um, almost to the point, depending on how hard you pull on the brake cable, um, that there's no more click. Okay, and uh, I'll just, re I have to uh, put the brake switch back on just to get it adjusted. I just wanted it out of the way while I was dicking around with this. Um, Okie doke. So that wraps up the brake install. Next time we'll carry on and do some more work and take a look outside. Great view from the shop. Stay safe out there in this crazy um, corona pandemic uh, crisis. It's, it's not fun. But we get to work on our toys, so uh, stay safe, stay healthy. Oh, bye for now.